Here it is, Gregor Tell Ray to talk about one month, one month before the solstice. Yes, the solstice. And so, with that, I would like to talk about and promote, drum roll please, my new and latest piece of writing. Um, the Ring of Power, a Tesla Tower, the myth of free energy, visual stimulus, and metaphysical conjectures manifested through Gregor Atero Cleary. And so, I, month of October, November, since I've been without a shot, this is pretty much all I've been working on. And uh, it's done, it's off to the editor. It's getting published in the book Green Town Earth with 20 different other authors to, from around the world to inspire young adults to get involved in activism and environmentalism. And so uh, I blended the whole idea of the ring of power with the Tesla tower and myth and how it all comes together. And so uh, this PDF is online. It's on Google Drive. Um, I'm, I'll put the link for the low res and the high res version of the PDF that you can download off of Google off of Google Drive. I'll eventually have it up on thoughtrevolution.info and so that might be in the caption too. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up on that server. Uh, but it's going to be published. You get it off Amazon. But at the moment you can just see my 22 pages on PDF for free. Enjoy them. They're full of delightful pictures and things. Like on the last page you have a thing of the Enneagram and all the different types of Enneagrams like I was talking about in the Fellowship 2012. Oops. And, uh, yeah. It's good stuff. And so, I'll flip to it. Something. Um. I say this in my one of the last two videos, but I'll repeat it because it's, like, big. It's really big. It's time. For it is our collective awareness of all the different vibratory oscillations that are relative to our perception that give birth to the present moment. As different stages of vibratory oscillations occur around us, so does our perception in regards to that moment and thus the illusion of time. For example, a solar year of the Earth is one full oscillation of our perspective in regards to the seasons and how our oscillation of time changes our perception of time we just view it quantitatively instead of qualitatively. Seasons is able to see all the time qualitatively. Um, so that's coming on. And to sum up this moment, I'm going to draw from my goddess guidance oracle deck about this one month before the solstice, before this epicness, for all this craziness to go, to go down in terms of vibrational download of expansive awareness where suddenly we'll realize what we need to do and what we need to move upon, what we need to act upon, but then it comes down to your free will. Are you actually going to do what you feel in your heart you're supposed to do? And so, can you please tap this deck for me? Oh, thank you everyone for inputting your energy into this moment of one month before the solstice and what it's going to bring about for us. And what it's bringing about for us Bodies of water, solace. That is an interesting little metaphor, isn't that? Isn't that? It makes me almost sounds like doomsdayish, but that's not what I'm getting at. But spend time near water, such as lake, river, or the ocean, to recharge your batteries. Um, oh, because it's not about the solstice. That's not why I asked. Very important intent. But right now, it's important to recharge and ground ourselves and, and really feel the earth before we go into what we're about to go into. Grounding is so important. And so with that lesson, I had a lesson today that I realized in terms of grounding, a lot of people like me and other light workers were getting really caught up in the airiness and the metaphysicalness and we're just like going up and up. And we're like starting to float off the earth and we're having a really hard time being here on the earth plane and staying grounded. And so I've really been like using the term Grounded metaphysics. What is this grounded metaphysics? And getting this more balanced philosophy, not getting too caught up in the airiness. And so we're in polarity consciousness. And with polarity consciousness, to be a part of polarity consciousness, you have to be in the polarity. But a lot of us are moving to this Christ consciousness too fast. 
We're just we're just getting thrown up into these upper realms. And what's really important with polarity consciousness is we start to neutralize these polarities, neutralize all this karma that's in our life. We're just getting to this place of peace and zen, which is wonderful. It's where we need to go to. But in, there's a process of staying in both worlds. And that's how to still be a part of the polarity. And groundedness in some ways relates to being a part of the polarity. And the polarity is the cycle. But as we neutralize the cycles, the cycles are what keep us here on Earth in some ways. And uh, we need to create daily practices. This is the idea of a daily practice. And we do this every day at a specific time. You're creating the cycle of energy. But what you're doing is you're choosing. You're using your free will to choose the cycles you're participating in. Being like, Saturday is going to be my day off. Saturday, I'm going to go down to the river and fish because I'm going to enjoy it. And, and how we can start to create these routine cycles, or these re routine um, experiences um, to facilitate certain energies within us. But we're choosing the cycles we choose into. And this is where a daily practice can be really beneficial in that you're, you're, just, you're just building that energy. And that energy um, will help stick, keep you rooted here in this, in this world. And so I think that's all I'm going to say today. And hope you enjoyed that download and I'm gonna go enjoy this upload as I go fall asleep and enjoy some sweet wonderful dreams and try to wake up at the midpoint and like stimulate my mind um, and then go back to sleep for like four hours because then that is when the dreams get crazy for a very specific reason adios my friends namaste enjoy this month because I certainly will